Hi students, in the previous topic we have completed parallel processing and now we are going to look at pipelining. What is pipelining? Pipelining is a technique of decomposing a sequential process into various sub-operations and executing those sub-operations in dedicated segments concurrently. Let us understand this pipelining technique with the help of an example AI into BI plus CI for I equal to 1 to 7. That means this operation must be performed 7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, according to this pipeline technique, this sequential process is decomposed into various sub operations. In the textbook, the author had decomposed this sub operation into 3 sub operations. In the first sub operation, he is loading AI and BI into registers R1 and R2, and in the second segment, he is loading the result of this multiplier into R3, CI into R4. And in the last segment, he is loading the result of adder into R5. Okay, total three segments are there. And how many tasks are need to be performed? Total seven, one, two, seven. And each and every bit, A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C3, A3, B3, C3, up to A7, A7 B7, C7 must go through all these three segments okay for example if you if we assume that it takes one clock pulse to pass through each segment then for one bit it takes three three clock pulses and to complete all for all these seven bits it takes seven into three 21 clock pulses okay that is the time required for non pipeline method now with the help of this pipeline method it takes only 9 clock pulses. Let us see how this drastic change in the time requirement is achieved. Okay, 21 minus 9, 12 seconds, 12 clock pulses were reduced. That is a huge improvement in the speed. Okay, let us see how that is obtained. While bit 1 is passing through the segment 1 and segment 2 and segment 3, bit 2 is entering the segment 1. Okay, well, the bit 1 is passing from segment 1 to segment 2, bit 2 is entering into segment. When bit 1 is passing from segment 2 to segment 3, bit 2 is entering into segment 2 and bit 3 is entering into segment 1. Okay, so here uh, bit 2 and bit 3 are not waiting for the bit 1 to pass through all the three segments. They are entering into the segment as and when the segment is free. Just as segment free ho gaya, the bits uh, second bit is entering into segment 1 and then segment 2 okay similarly bit 3 bit 4 bit 5 okay so here uh, there is no waiting which is happening in the non pipeline method okay this is called overlapping overlapping is the uh, essential advantage of this pipeline method and with the help of this pipeline method it just takes only 9 clock pulses to complete this entire process Whereas in the non pipeline method, it is taking 7 into 3, 21 clock pulses. Okay, so this is the advantage speed up. This is called speed up, and uh, speed up can be calculated with the help of this formula. In the numerator, it is uh, given the time taken by the non pipeline method n into tn, where n equal to 7 here, and tn is the time taken uh, for a single bit to pass through three segments that is equal to 3. So, 7 into 3, 21 is the numerator and in the denominator, the formula is k plus n minus 1 into tp, where k is the number of segments, here the number of segments are 3 and n equal to 7. So, 3 plus 7, 10 minus 1 that is 9 into tp is the time taken in single uh, segment that is equal to 1. So, 21 by 9 and that is equal to 2.33. For n equal to 7, the speed up obtained with the help of this pipeline technique is 2.33. Okay. Now, if the number of tasks are increasing from uh, 7 to 70, then this formula becomes uh, 70 into 3, that is 210 divided by 70 plus 3 minus 1, 72. 210 by 72, that is equal to 2.917. For n equal to 700, speed up is 2.991. For n equal to 7000, speed up is 2.999. Okay, so from these examples, you can see 
as the number of tasks increase n becomes much larger than k minus 1 and k plus n minus 1 approaches the value of n under this condition speed up is equal to tn by tp where tn is equal to k into tp 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 cancels s equal to k what is k number of segments so speed up that could be obtained with the help of pipeline technique is k k number of times okay so in this example k is 3 that means you can obtain 3 times faster uh, execution of the same sequential process this is the advantage of pipelining how this is obtained this is obtained with the help of this overlapping we are not waiting for the bit 1 to pass through all these all three segments as soon as the bit 1 is entering into segment 2 bit 2 is entering into segment 1 as soon as the bit 1 is entering into segment 3 bit 2 is entering into segment 2 bit 3 is entering into segment 1 okay this is the reason why uh, it is possible to increase the speed of the execution of that sequential process thank you